decision to find the authority. Um, I'll just uh, say a few words about uh, this. A great other thing to argue against receiving the vote out of the There's no question in my mind that um, you know, rural and, and Merseyside is going to get a, a um, reasonable slice of the, uh, the funding that is now being made available for um, local enterprise partnerships uh, allowing them to have a growth agenda. Um, the government are very clearly saying that you have to adopt a much more formal government's um, model. Uh, two models that are being um, uh, put forward, one is the, the combined authority and one is the um, city region there. I will make it clear that certainly from, from this administration's point of view, we, we don't think that for Wirral, um, a very better city region there is appropriate. And I'm pleased that we've, we've won that argument. And my, um, my colleagues uh, in the city region and the other leaders uh, would all agree that um, the combined authority is, is the way forward. Indeed, the government have made it explicit in their response to the Michael Hesseltine report, no stone in turn, that unless you adopt you know, one of these two models, um, then, then you will lose out on the funding for economic development, regeneration, regeneration and transport, particularly. So, um, uh, there is uh, a in, um, in principle um, to uh, look at the combined uh, authority as the, um, uh, the, the way forward. And um, clearly, uh, there's a lot more detail still to be uh, worked, uh, worked up on this. Um, and I know that uh, Graham and the other chief executives from the University of Districts and Holton are doing a lot of work behind the scenes on putting that detail in place uh, around what the authority is going to be responsible for, the governance, and so on. I want to, I want to make it clear, because I've heard, I've heard this one referred to as a super, super council for Merseyside. This is not, you know, this is not Merseyside County Council by the name. You know, it is, it is purely around those strategic functions around the things like economic development, regeneration, and transport, where actually I think it makes sense for us to work collaboratively and cooperatively across our boundaries. Uh, now, um, you know, uh, that in no way going to detract from the, the, the ability of individual councils still to carry out uh, independently of their core, their core responsibilities. But it is something I believe that if we don't do, we will lose out uh, to other parts of the country who are moving ahead, I can say, very rapidly with, um, with, with this world. Most of them are actually looking so um, I think it was important that we brought a formal report forward to cameras to explain our thinking behind <coughs> this. Uh, my understanding claim is that we have a um, uh, expression of interest in by the end of July and uh, a formal bid in the autumn and September. And then there is quite a, a detailed kind of parliamentary process uh, that we have to go through. But our aim is to, is to have the final authority in place by April. So, is it, do you want to add anything else to my question? Well, I think all those points to the thing we have to when you made that this is about devolving powers down to the government, not taking powers up to the government. And then the forms of the government. The way I've been talking, they've been defined the for many years now. And the autonomy of, the, uh, of those of authorities is still a strong sort of in existence. So, it's not about the provision of the Supreme Council, as we said, or taking powers away from other authorities. Like to confirm the fact that uh, all visual major city regions are all going ahead with this model. I'm also very confident that uh, the increasing influence that the World Council has in the local city region, I'm confident that uh, the Liverpool will get its fair share and all of the resources that are available to this region. And in respect to this, uh, this increasing rapidly, and the influence we have is actually uh, markedly. Uh, and we can gain great uh, advantages from this way.
So I think we can take, my advice is that we can take that in, in public. Uh, so I'm going to suggest that we, um, we go for that item there. Okay? Right. Um, Pat, you've yeah. talked about yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, this item has been around for a while, I think.
So, you know, my, my thanks to uh, certainly Kevin and the team who started that.